In this video we're going to round whole numbers. On page 1 we'll round to the nearest 10, page 2 round to the nearest 100. There's page 1, this is uh, page 2, and page 3 we'll round to the nearest 1000. Okay. So let's begin. Now if we have the number 38, we need to round that to the nearest 10. Now, the first thing I'd like you to do is, is get out a piece of paper and just quickly write down tens, a whole bunch of tens. In other words, tens means what? 10, 20, 30. Numbers with zero in the units place, in the ones place, okay? So if it has a zero in the ones place, it's a 10. So these are all tens, right? Um, so basically rounding 38 to the nearest 10 is saying what 10 number is 38 nearest to? Well what 10 number is 38 nearest to? Is it nearest to 20? Nearest to 30? Nearest to 40? Nearest to 50? Which one is it nearest to? It's closest to 40 isn't it? It's closest to 40, and so that's why we round that, and you can do wavy equal sign to show that it's approximately equal to, I guess I'll write that down, approximately equal to 40. So 38 is approximately equal to 40, right? Now, um, the other way of doing that is saying, look, the in the one spot we have an eight. If this number, this digit here is five or more, we round up. If it's four or less, we round down. So we round up, and then the three turns into a four in the ten spot. That's, so that's another way of doing it. But it is uh, important to understand exactly what's going on. If you're asked to round twenty-four to the nearest ten. What 10 number is 24 nearest to? It is nearest to 10, or is it nearest to 20, or 30, or 40, or what? It's nearest to 20, isn't it? 24 is near, out of these 10s, 24 is nearest to 20. So, what we do is we say 24 is approximately equal to 20. Now, the other way of doing it is, is to say, look, the in the one spot, in the unit spot, in the unit's place, we have a four. Now, if this digit is four or less, we round down. And so we round this down, and then this this digit stays the same. It just stays at a two, okay? So if you have 75, what do you round that guy to? 75 is nearest to what number? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, what's it nearest to? Well, it's equally as close to 70 and 80. And so you would think that you have a choice. Well, I could round it to 70 or I could round to 80. What's the difference? And usually in real life, it doesn't make a difference. But um, there is a standard practice in math that if this digit here is five or more you must round up and there is actually a practical reason for that so um, we have a choice between 70 or 80 but the rule is if it's if this digit uh, is five or more we round up and so we say that's approximately equal to 80 so we round up okay now the reason for that, I'll tell you why, is because in real life lots of numbers are already rounded. Like this could represent say $75. And um, that might not actually be, I mean that, you know, it could actually be that that number was originally $75.02. So my point is when in, in real life when you're given the number 75 it may often represent something like 75.02 which which should you would think round up to 80 because there's this point 2 at the end of it point 02 at the end of it or if you were given the number 35 
in real life that might actually in actual fact be 35.00 you know four or something so on a lot of numbers that you know that have a five here there might be more stuff you know down the line which would w which would mean that it's justified to round up okay so my point is if you have a five here it, it's 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 quite possible in real life that there is some stuff uh, down the line more digits down the line and so it should be rounded up but that's one way of thinking about it but basically what we have to remember is if this if the kind of the next digit is five or more we round up that's in all cases oh where am I going to write that need some space I apologize so for all cases if a digit is five or more round up and of course four or less round down okay so if it's five or more you round up four or less you round down that's how it works so um, that's that now if we were rounding these guys to the nearest ten what would we do let's have a look at a hundred and twelve one hundred and twelve you know what 10 number is 112 closest to well none of these but what comes if we were going 60 70 80 90 what would come next in this sequence of tens the next 10 number is in fact 10 tens or 100 and the next 10 number is 11 tens or 110 and then we've got 12 tens 100 120 13 tens is 130 14 tens is 140 and so this sequence does in fact continue so the point is any number that has a zero in the unit spot is in fact a 10 it's a it's a 10 number it's one of the tens okay so what is 112 uh, closest to well it's approximately equal to or it's close to 110 right and of course the other way or the quicker way of doing that is to say look the next I'm rounding to the tens spot okay this is where the tens are in the one spot I have a two if this digit is four or less I round down does that make sense I round down and then I just I, I these digits stay the same so if you have 247 now what do you do you're rounding to the nearest 10 remember rounding to tens there's a 4 in the 10 spot there's a 7 in the units spot okay so remember if it's 5 or more you round up it's, if it's 4 or less you round down so this in the in the unit spot this is 5 or more this is more than 5 right so we round up don't we we round up and so this 4 becomes a 5 and then this is a 0 of course and so that's approximately equal to 250 now of course if we continue this sequence of tens we would eventually come to 250 any number that has a 0 in the unit spot is a 10 okay and that even works for thousands if I'm rounding 3893 to the nearest 10 I have in the 10 spot I have uh, 9 in the unit spot I have 3 so what do I do do I round up or do I round down or what round that to the nearest 10 write down the answer write down the answer to that you're going to round down, right? Because you've if you got nine in the ten spot, we've got a three in the one spot, so that rounds down, and this becomes ninety. You can forget about the rest of the number. This is just ninety-three rounds to ninety, and then write in the rest. Three thousand eight hundred ninety. Okay. So how about this guy? Forty-five thousand three hundred and thirty-five. We've got a five in the unit spot. We need to round to the nearest ten. Round that guy to the nearest ten. What happens? And you know that a cool thing is just forget about everything else. Just look at this. We have 35. If I was rounding 35 to nearest 10, what would I get? 
you would round up or down. If it's five or more in the units, you got to round up, right? So round up to 40. Does that make sense? So 35 rounds up to 40. And then you can just write in the rest. It doesn't matter what that number is. It, this number could go on forever, right? But you would know what to do because you're just rounding. You're just looking at the tens, right? Okay. If you had 96, what would you do? Round 96, the nearest 10. Write down the answer. It has a 6 in the unit spot and a 9 in the 10 spot. Do we round up or round down? 6 in the unit spot, we round up, right? So we round up, and what's the next number after 9? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So the 9 becomes a 10. And it's rounded up, and so we're left with 100, right? And 100 is a 10 number because it has a 0 in the unit spot. Any number that has a 0 in the unit spot is a multiple of 10, okay? It's a 10s number, let's say. Okay, 295. Round this guy to the nearest 10. Do it by yourself. Try and do it before I can do it. Rounded to the nearest 10, what'd you get? This is the 10 spot. We want to round to this place. Now, in the units place, we have 5. So, do we round up or down? If it's 5 or more, we round up, right? So, we round this guy up. So, this becomes 1 more. Now, if I add 1, onto here. If I if I round up and I add 1 onto here, what's 1 plus 29? What's 1 plus 29? Well, it's 30. So this whole thing becomes 30. And of course, this is rounded up, so we have a 0 here. So 295 is approximately equal to 300. And this is a multiple of 10. So again, if I continue this sequence of 10s here, you know, you get 290, and then you get 300, and then you get 310. So 300 is a multiple of 10, right? Because it has a zero in the unit spot. Any number that has a zero in the unit spot is a 10, multiple of 10, right? Okay, 2,900, <coughs> excuse me, and 97. We want to round that to the nearest 10, and then the unit spot we have a seven. Here's a funny one. What happens now? Do we round up or down? Well, we round up, don't we? We round up. And when I round up, I'm going to add a 1 to this. Now, adding a 1 to this 9 makes that a 10, right? And you could say then that there's another one added here, and this 1 and 9 becomes 10. And now there's another one added here, and this one and two becomes a three. So that's one way of doing it. Or, and of course, then you would have um, three, zero, 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 right? Three thousand. Or you could say, look, I'm rounding up. I'm rounding up. So this has got to increase by one. Now, if I increase this by one, this is basically 299. What's 299 plus 1? 299 plus 1 is 300, right? So if I increase 299 by 1, I get 300. So that's another way of looking at it. Anyway, so let's see if you can do this one by yourself. Press pause if you need more time. I want you to do this one all by yourself around 4,895 to the nearest 10. Okay, I'm going to do it now. We've got a 5 in the unit spot. We want to round to this place here. So, I've got to basically, we end up with 0 here in the unit spot to make it into a 10 uh, number. And we've got to add 1 
to here. Now, 1 and 9 is 10. Okay, and then we've got, so that'll mean we have to w add 1 onto here again. And so we'll have 4, 9, 0. Or the other way of looking at it is just look, I'm adding 1 to 489. What's 489 plus 1? 489 plus 1 is 490, right? So I get 4900 or 4900. So this is approximately equal to 4900.